This is our recycle center. It's a lot like any other recycling center. Here they collect cans, glass, paper, and cardboard. And you have them push it right down in the box. And then as the stuff starts packing it down, you got another good container. They also recycle brass, and Fort Jackson has plenty of that. More than 50,000 soldiers train here every year, and they send millions of rounds downrange. The spent casings pile up quickly. At the end of a firing cycle, soldiers collect the brass and send it to a final screening point. Munitions handlers hose down the brass. We still have uh, some residue from uh, black powder residue left in here. Ernest Young then dumps the casings into what's called a deformer. Just crank it up. 5.56 blanks in it. We also run the 5.56 ball ammo, the 7.62, the 9 millimeter. All of that goes in here. It takes a lot of man hours to recycle this much brass, but according to Lucas, the benefits are worth the effort. We capture it so we don't have to pay a contractor to dispose of it. Then we resell those things, and then we bring money back to the reservation. Last year, Fort Jackson sent off eight truckloads of brass. At $2 a pound, Fort Jackson profited about $656,000, money that comes right back to soldiers and their families. James Williams, Fort Jackson, South Carolina.